Captain's Run, what's the situation with having the Captain's Run Pat Murray famous was supposed to do it in Dublin? Is there an advantage? No, um, just I think we're just doing something a bit differently. Um, we're here, sometimes you get there and it's, it can be a bit tricky to get in and out and you're rushed, I think, a little bit the stadium, but I don't think it entirely matters, to be honest. You just you get through, you do your plays, you get on the plane and then we, and we get there. You're not going to blame a bus for being there No, I don't, we won't worry about that. Um, your memories of the Aviva last time you were there, pretty good ones. You yeah. The trophy. Does that help? Are you kind of relaying onto the squad as captain? You know, the Aviva is not a tough place to go. Does it kind of get rid of the stigma of the way Um, I think the Aviva is a tough place to go. It's, um, They've got a good record there. Uh, I don't think they've lost a Six Nations game at home under Joe Schmidt there, so that's that's pretty impressive. So yeah, look, it's a hard place to go. Uh, my experience of last year, I think it's, it's great for me personally, but I was the only one there in that team. So um, look, we know how hard it's going to be. Winning on the road is tricky. Um, it's something we spoke about, but something um, we're really looking forward to the challenge of, of what Saturday will bring. Matt just said there, in terms of the way that the team's progressed through this championship, not a great start, obviously, but now you're actually coming good at it's such a good time and you're coming up against the third best team in the world. Mm -hmm. Talk about the excitement of the sports Yeah, like like the start was wasn't you know was far from ideal in, in Wales, um, and we knew the criticism that we would get. But um, I said the very next day and, and, and the very next week that uh, we hadn't become a bad team overnight. So it was it was great that we beat France. Point out that it wasn't the the best of game of rugby. I don't think. Uh, and then obviously the England game was fantastic, so um, we didn't become a bad team and we, we've stayed true to what we do and the way we try and play the game, we haven't changed it. Um, so yeah, guys, look, guys are buzzing, um, they know how exciting it is, they know the opportunity we have, but also we, you know, we're realistic about and we understand how hard a challenge Ireland in Ireland is. In terms of training, are you tailoring? I mean, again, Matt talked about the fact that contact's got a very huge part of this. But the breakdown, is there a serious focus on the breakdown concerning this you're going up against one of the best teams for the breakdown? Yeah, um, I think you can't, it's not like a, it can't be a secret. Um, the breakdown's important every game, uh, especially, you know, we, we did very well last week, I thought, on the breakdown. And add to that, Ireland are exceptional there. Um, so, look, it's going to be hotly contested, part of the game. Ireland are very good there. Um, we'll have to make smart decisions as well. There's a lot said, John, about the game. Against England last week was the, the incident before the match, and how that sort of you know, set the tone for the sort of fighting spirit the boys showed. But against Ireland, because you see these guys almost week in week out in terms of Pro 12, I mean, there's a scope for a wee bit more now in that sense that, you, that there's more of a value added. You see these guys sort of more regular. Um, I don't know. It's tricky to answer. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we play against them pretty regularly. Leap, I think it's t it's totally different to. Uh, League games and, high, and Champions, uh, Champions Cup games, so I think every every international is pretty fiery. Um, of course, a small incident in the tunnel, which was which was something and nothing, is is going to draw a lot of attention from the media. It's something a bit different. Uh, ultimately, I think it was it was nothing. It didn't have any impact on the game. I don't think personally, but um, look, it's going to be it's going to be physical. It's going to be attritional. It's going to be. I'm sure there will be a bit of niggle, but that's that's the bit of the game that everyone enjoys. I think the difference has been the accuracy. Um, I think we play we play an aggressive brand of rugby. Um, we try and throw the, the ball around and play with tempo, but the difference from week one to week or where we are now is, has been the accuracy which, with which we've done that. I suppose having that sort of surge in confidence must help in that sense. I mean, what is the, the result last two weeks ago done for? Um, guys, guys are guys are excited, and but it didn't it didn't change after Wales. We we still wanted to play the same way. We didn't suddenly think, oh, we, this is not the this is not the right template for how we're going to play the game, and um, we just understood that we had to be more accurate. So um, yeah, like we know we know that that'll be a massive part of it. Going over there, keeping the ball, uh, defending very well. Um, the same stuff you have to do at home, really. It's no different. Matt was just saying there that That's you one haven't one really one. sort of spoken about tape talk or anything like that. I mean, is, it, is that the best approach in, in your view? Is it keep it focused on sort of small task at hand and sort of like the picture that takes care of itself? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, yeah, even, even if we did win this weekend, it'd still be. I don't know what the maths is. I haven't looked at it to be honest. I know how hard this weekend will be. Um, 
you know they've got Grand Slam to think about as well so we'll let them sort of worry about Grand Slams and we, we're just thinking about this game mentioned Grand Slam here and there has been conversation about it. Is that disrespectful to Scotland though, for people to be talking about their having Grand Slam? Um, not really. I, I've not heard an Irish player talk about it. I'd be surprised if, if they did come out and talk about it. It's one of those things you don't really speak about until you get to week five. Um, if you're in the position in week five to talk about that, you know, that's, you know, hats off to you. Um, so no, I don't, I don't think. There's always going to be whisperings of, of that if you're the only unbeaten team in the championship and you're going to week four, of course people are going to start talking about that, but it doesn't, doesn't lend itself to be ammunition for us. Right. Sorry, can I just ask one more? Because I'm only going to ask one. Yeah. Um, Brian O'Driscoll has labelled Scotland as homers. Do you think that um, that's unfair to Scotland need to prove themselves away from home? I don't think it's unfair. I think our, our record would, would suggest that, but we um, we obviously had a good win in, in Australia in the summer. Um, so yeah, look, that's the point. We need to, of course, you need to win away from home. So uh, it'd be nice to, to prove them wrong, but it certainly wouldn't be the, the motivation for us doing it because someone's called us a homer.